Yeah, good evening. My name is Jim McMahon. And what I wanted to do here this evening was just to go over a couple of verses in the book of John, the Gospel of John, where Jesus Christ is talking to Nicodemus. And he says something that sounds extremely difficult to understand. I mean, he says a lot of stuff to Nicodemus, I guess. To him, that was difficult to understand. But uh, in this case, what I'm talking about is the verse where he says, the Son of Man, which is in heaven, he's talking about himself. And he's actually standing directly in front of Nicodemus. I'm going to go ahead and read a few verses here to give you context. And then I'm going to explain what it is that Jesus Christ is actually talking about. All right, I'm going to start in verse 11. This is the Gospel of John, chapter 3. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you of earthly things and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up into heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And this goes on to the next verse that uh, actually leads into John 3, 16. The verses a lot of people already understand or already know. But I'm going to go ahead and read a few. It says, uh, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And then, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, just going to go back to the beginning of the verse that I started with, and that was verse number 11 here in chapter 3. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen and you received not our witness. So what Jesus Christ is saying, he's testifying of things that he has seen and he's speaking of things that he does know. So, it says, if I have told you of earthly things and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? So he was explaining to Nicodemus uh, that you have to be born of water and then born of also of spirit. Otherwise, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Born of water is also is being born out of your mother. Everyone's born of water. But then you're also born of the spirit, being a child of God, and that you are quickened in the spirit by the spirit of God himself, the Holy Ghost. And that is what Jesus Christ is talking about, being born of the spirit. And this is happens through faith in Jesus Christ. But we're going to go back to this verse right here. It says, No man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. All right. Now, Jesus Christ is standing directly in front of Nicodemus, talking to, him, uh, talking to Nicodemus about himself in third person. So what Jesus Christ is saying here, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven, he is not saying that he's in heaven directly right then. Obviously, Jesus Christ was standing in front of Nicodemus. What he is talking about is that is where he is from. That is where he is. And I could give it to you like this. If the President of the United States was standing here speaking to you right now into this phone, and he was standing in Ohio, and he's speaking about himself in third person, then he could say, the President of the United States is going to go into Congress, which the President of the United States, which is in Washington. Now, obviously, if the President of the United States is standing in Ohio talking to you on a phone, you know, making a video on YouTube, he's not actually in Washington, D.C. He's talking about where he dwells, where he is from, that he is bound to. Like Jim McMahon, that's who I am. I'm from Ohio. So I could be in the desert in Texas and say, Jim McMahon, I could be talking to you, and I could say that even Jim McMahon, which is in Ohio. Now, obviously, Jim McMahon would not have been in Ohio right then. He is talking about, just like right here, that I would have been talking about, that I am from Ohio, that is where I dwell, and I'm speaking of those things which I know of in Ohio. So that means that Jesus Christ here says he's speaking of the things which he, do, which he does know and which he has seen. So since he's from heaven and in heaven, he can speak of those things. But because he's saying right here, when he says this, he says the Son of Man which is in heaven, a lot of people get confused as to what it is that he's talking about. It's very simply understood as in Jesus Christ is from heaven. He ascended up into heaven. He also came down from heaven. So therefore, when he's talking about this, when you put it in context, he's just saying in third person, speaking of himself, that he is from heaven. That's all that verse is even talking about. Um, that's all I really wanted to go through in this video. I just want to make a quick video to discuss this. Hopefully you understood what I was saying. Hopefully you understood what Jesus Christ was saying here when he is saying the Son of Man, which is in heaven. He's talking about that is where he dwells. That is where he is from. 
So uh, I hope you have a good evening and God bless.